Hi everyone, it is Thursday today and we are in Bristol. We're in this little B&B maybe? Well, it's not really a and b actually. It's more like a pub with some rooms and it's really, really near Bristol Airport, literally a couple of miles, um, less than five minutes drive. And it was a bargain as well. It's okay. Um, it's not the most comfortable night's sleep I've ever had, put it that way, but it's absolutely fine for the money. It costs £50 for the night and we get, we've got like a kettle and tea and coffee and then we've got a couple of those pots of like the instant oats, you know, from Audi that you make with, with hot water so we can have a little bit of breakfast. They've left us an apple and an orange things like that so it's absolutely fine um i've just had a nice warm shower it's absolutely boiling in here because the central heating's on and i'm not used to it um so i'm going to go outside in a second and get some fresh air but martin's outside and he said it's not very nice he said it's quite damp a bit chilly but yeah i need to go and get some fresh air the reason why martin is walking around outside is that we we knew this before we left for Fuerteventura because on the way to the Bristol airport the brakes on our car were doing something that Martin wasn't happy about. I have no idea about cars but he was like it will be fine but we need to get it fixed as soon as possible when we get back. So what we've done or what he's done is he's whilst we were in Fuerteventura we booked an online mechanic to come here to the pub this morning and fix whatever it is that needs fixing on the brakes. I think the company that he used is called Click Mechanic and they give you like a time slot and ours is between 8 and 10. It's about quarter past 8 now and he's not here yet but that's fine because we can stay in this room until 10. Um, so yeah we're just waiting for him to come and fix the brakes on our car and then we will head off back to Devon, back home. Um, what else do I have to say? Yeah, it's always a bit weird coming back, but we've been doing this for so long now, I kind of get used to it. When when we used to first come back, I used to get really overwhelmed um, and want to do everything straight away, go shopping, food shopping, and do this and do that. And I've kind of learned over the years to just, you know, do one thing at a time and yeah everything gets done eventually the unpacking and all the rest of it so we have had a couple of emails in the last few days about our house sale so it all seems to be going smoothly i had an email to say that our buyer had instructed his solicitors obviously i've instructed my solicitor and so the is it the sales memo something like that has been issued um, I have no idea what's going on because I've never sold a house before, but it seems to be, you know, progressing, shall we say. I know there's lots of things still to do, but keeping positive, yeah. So I'm going to pop in and see um, my estate agent at some point, either tomorrow or Saturday, depending on when he's free. And just um, say thank you, basically, and have a chat and make sure everything's okay. But yeah, we're just very excited. Um, it's, it's definitely made coming back a lot easier. We've also got tomorrow an appointment with a company called Lifestyle. Oh no, what's the actual name of it? I'll put it on the screen. Yeah, I'll put it on the screen because I can't remember the actual name. But I did a lot of research over the last sort of 18 months about visas and what you need to um, be able to move permanently to Spain and we've decided that we're going to use a company to help us and we had an appointment with them I don't know a year ago and they've they've kept in touch to be fair they send me an email every now and again saying how's your house sale going um, so they were absolutely delighted when I messaged them the other day and they they wanted to talk yesterday actually but I was like no we're flying back on Wednesday so they're gonna um well I just thought that might be the mechanic actually just looking out the window no anyway so we're gonna have an appointment with them tomorrow 
So that's very exciting as well. And I will talk a lot more about the process that we need to go through and the different visas and how, you, you know, some people do it themselves. We just decided that we wanted to use a company to help us. So that's what we're going to do. But I'll talk a lot more about this um, in future videos. I'm going to eat an orange now. I'm not very hungry. I need to really start eating properly again. I'm, I'm going to make a few soups in the slow cooker. Um, either, it depends when we go and do the shopping. So it might be Friday or over the weekend. I am working at the weekend, but I can still get the old slow cooker going. Um, and then I just need to really kind of calm down again of what I'm eating get the, the old fruits and veggies in and um, also stop spending quite so much money that's um I feel like we haven't been very frugal for the last month so yeah we need to get a bit of a grip but it's exciting times for sure um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing my family I will be seeing my mum on Monday um, I will be then going to see my dad on Wednesday we're going to go and stay with him for a few days and then the week after I'm hoping that I'll get to see my sister I've also got a, a few friends that I'm seeing hopefully on Saturday so yeah exciting times and of course clearing out the house um, but I, like I say I've got to just calm down and not try and do everything today as soon as I get home because that's the that's how I feel that I want to just get everything done straight away so yeah anyway I'll stop rambling on now and hopefully the car will be fixed and we'll be on our way soon it's 10 o'clock now so we've left our room because we had to be out of it by 10 the mechanic is still not here although to be fair the time was between 8 and 10 he has texted to say he'll be here around 10 so we'll see I'm getting a teeny bit bored now but then Aha, uh -huh, here, here he is. is. We are back home. We made it. Um, it's freezing. I've got, I've got all my thermals and all my layers on and everything. So I'm warming up a little bit. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's about half one, maybe quarter to two, something like that. So... I'm going to go and unpack. That's my only job that I've set myself for today. And I'm also going to just go through the big box of food that I've got downstairs and see what we've got something for dinner tonight. I think it's probably going to be like pasta and sauce or something like that. So um, and then I can think about and make a plan and go and do the shopping tomorrow rather than sort of rush into it and just go off and buy loads of random stuff. We've opened all our posts. We had, there was a few Christmas cards and, you know, just general um, rubbishy bits, to be honest. Most of it will be going in the recycling. But everything, touch wood, seems fine in the house. I mean, this house is used to being left and it, it, to be fair to it, it is good as gold. You know, we, well, maybe I shouldn't say this, but we rarely have any problems with anything. So fingers crossed, everything will be okay. And um, I'm going to finish the vlog here. So I will see you tomorrow when we will be hopefully doing an Audi shop. Take care, everyone. Bye.